Welcome to video number three of Getting Started with Office Expert. This time it's a video which covers one of the most important requirements, requirements which needs to be in place. It's the Azure Active Directory application, which needs to be registered. So this Azure application is more or less the gateway to access your tenant information by Office Expert. So let's see what this exactly means. In the setup guide or in the setup requirements, there is a section called Azure Active Directory application. And you will find here a couple of pages which dis describes and explains all necessary steps you have to perform in the portal. And these are exactly the steps which we go through right now in this application demonstration. So one of the first thing is to open up the portal Azure com. So the AAD portal Azure com, not the normal portal Azure com. So it's the AAD. So I have done that already here for my demo environment. And what you need to do is you just jump to this app registration icon. And then you click on new application requirements. Based on the documentation, you can give it here a whatever name. So just for simplicity, I would just use Office Expert. You have to select your native one and you need to specify here the URL, the URI. And please make sure that you use here HTTPS colon slash slash office expert. So ex exactly how it's mentioned in here. Um, you just hit the create button. And what it does, it creates the application. And from now on, you can assign certain permissions to this application. So you click on settings and then this settings information appears here where you have here API access required permissions. You just hit required permissions. By default, the Azure Active Directory is listed. You can keep it there. Uh, you can remove it. Uh, it's, it's up to you. But what we need to add here are a couple of graph API permissions to allow Office Expert to access your tenant. So I hit the Add button and let's jump back to the setup requirements. So let's just make the, the first one the Office 365 Management APIs just for demonstration. So you select an API. I select here the Azure Service Management API. You hit the select button. Ah, sorry, not the Azure one. Close that one. It was the Management API. You select it. And then the thing what we need to have is the health information, read service health information for your organization. So read service health information for your organization. So just that one. And you hit uh, done and then this office 365 management api appears in that list with um, the selected delegated permission and you continue now with all the other remaining ones so the next one would be office 365 sharepoint for instance so let's make that example so let's choose sharepoint here select and then you select here those four submissions, uh, permissions, read, write user files, read, write user files, read items, and what else? Those two. Right. So whenever you have done that, you select again, you hit the done button. So you do this for all the things which are mentioned in here. So there are five or six. And then you should end up with this kind of list here. So you see only, a, only a, 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 a short list with a few permissions necessary. And whenever you have done that, you just need to click on grant permissions. It will tell you, hey, you need to give an admin consent to that. I say yes. He is granting that. And this is now um, an application where we can use this application ID now for, for our simulation bots and for our Office Expert. Uh, configuration. So this is now the application which I can use for, uh, yeah, for setting up Office Expert. So that's it from this thing. So we we usually must say that we recommend uh, to register at least two applications. So with the same permissions level, but uh, where you use one application for the simulation bots and one for the virtual appliance. Uh, the reason behind is that there are certain Microsoft limitations and restrictions. So if you have yeah, um, a couple of simulations built out there, then it could be that the, the concurrent session limit 
is reached and is exceeded and therefore in order to uh, to make sure that this is not happening just register as many applications you like so yeah now we have an application registered which you can use for office expert and the next video will show you how to configure the first things inside of office expert including the first simulation bot configuration so check it out thank you Thank <music> you.